Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline of Late Night Prayer on this Sunday the 15th of May. I don't know what your day has been like, but whether it has been a day of joy or a day of uh, frustration and sadness, I pray that our service together, our space to spend time uh, in quiet meditation, um, in prayer before God, would be um, balm for your soul. Let's spend a moment in quiet as we come before Almighty God in prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Verses from Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Gospel reading is from the Gospel according to St John, chapter 13, starting at verse 31. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, Where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. No formal words of uh, reflection this evening on our reading from Scripture, our Gospel reading for this week from uh, John's Gospel. But simply some time to mull over that final verse, verse 35. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. I wonder what the mark is that people see when they look at us and look at our discipleship. Do people know that we are Jesus' disciples, that we are Christ followers? purely based on our love that we have for other Christ followers, for other disciples, no matter whether they agree with us or worship in the same way as us, or indeed our love for the world that Jesus loves, God's precious children throughout the world. By this, Everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let's spend a moment in quiet prayer. As we consider the day that has passed, the week that is now at an end. We give thanks to God for those things which have been life-giving and brought us joy. And we bring before God those needs closest to our hearts. We pray for those known to us who are struggling. And we ask for God's presence to stay with us as we go about this week. The Collects Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, Grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, 
So by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the risen Lord bless us. May he watch over us and renew us. As he renews the whole of creation, may our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Well, it's been a pleasure to pray with you this evening to spend a quiet moment at the end of the day. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon. God bless. <laughs>